Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through the idea of post and pre-multiplication of matrices. Okay, so let me title this post and pre-multiplication of matrices. So let me underline this also. So supposing you're given, so given two matrices uh, A and B and supposing if A equals B now let me make a first bullet point now if I pre multiply by another matrix C so let me explain the idea of pre-multiplication. So if I pre-multiply uh, this by a matrix C, pre-multiplying means I'm multiplying in, in a way such that CA equals CB. Okay, so pre meaning before multiplication. So I'm taking that and I'm multiplying by C in a way such that I'm getting CA that's equal to CB okay so that's pre-multiplication now second bullet point post multiply so now let me post multiply by C so post multiply so by post multiplying I'm multiplying this by C in this way so I'm multiplying in the way AC is equal to BC so post meaning after okay pre meaning before so notes that both are different so this and this are different in the ways that we multiply by the matrix C and also in matrices remember in the previous video I said that in matrices supposing if I take this CA equals CB but CB does not necessarily equal BC. Okay, so I'm taking this CA equals CB, but remember CB does not necessarily equal BC in matrices. If CB equals BC, remember, we call them commutative. But in most cases, CB and BC are not equal in most cases. Okay? So that is the difference between pre and post multiplication and I'm going to use the concept of pre multiplication in order to solve uh, simultaneous equations using matrices okay so let me take a fresh page so I hope you can see that so solving simultaneous equations using matrices let's underline that so supposing I'm given so we've been given the following pair of equations ax plus by is equal to c and dx plus EY is equal to F. So let me show you how to solve these using matrices. Okay. Now in step number one, let's underline step one. Step number one is write these equations in matrix form. Okay. So write above in matrix form. So I can write these two equations in matrix form as a two by two matrix. So in this case, it's gonna be a two by two matrix multiplied by a column matrix of the form X, Y, and that's equal to another column matrix with C, F as its elements, okay? So it's gonna be a two by two matrix multiply by the column matrix XY that's equal to 
another column matrix with the elements C and F. Okay. Now, when it comes to this 2x2 two two matrix, the 2x2 two two matrix will have elements which are the coefficients of x, y in your equations. So the coefficients of x, y in the first equation is A and B. So these will be the elements along row number 1. And the coefficients of x and y in the second row of the equation are D and E respectively. These will be the elements along the second row of that matrix. Okay, so we call this the coefficient matrix. Okay, and now in step number two, so step number one is to write your equations in matrix form. Now in step number two, we need to calculate x and y. Now to work out x and y, remember the idea of pre-multiplication. So pre means before multiplying. Now if I use that concept and if I pre-multiply by the inverse of this matrix. So let me pre-multiply by the inverse of this matrix. So step number two, by pre-multiplying by this matrix, the inverse, A, B, D, E, so the inverse of this matrix. So let's pre-multiply this by the inverse. So we're going to have A, B, D, E inverse multiplied by A, B, D, E into X, Y, the column matrix. That is equal to, on the right when I pre-multiply, a, B, D, E inverse multiplied by the column matrix C, F. Okay? Now, in an earlier video, I explained that. So, let me look at this term over here, highlighted in red. Okay? In an earlier video, I explained that when it comes to the inverse, if you multiply a matrix by the inverse or the inverse by the matrix, you're going to get the identity, okay? So I'm going to use that concept over here. So I have an inverse multiplied by its matrix. Now this is going to give us the identity. And if you multiply the identity by a matrix, you're going to get the original matrix. So on the left hand side, we're going to have XY and that is equal to a, B, D, E inverse times C, F. Okay. So that ends this video. I hope you found this video helpful on uh, pre and post multiplication and how you can solve simultaneous equations using matrices. So I hope you enjoy this video.